Hey there, Tony Policastro here with the Acoustic Letter brought to you by Music Villa. Today we're going to look at the Gibson Nick Lucas Elite Model. But before I get into this instrument, I want to make sure you stick around to the end of the review and sign up for the Acoustic Letter. Just for signing up today, I'm going to send you my personal gear list for free. Today we have a beautiful Gibson Nick Lucas Elite. The Nick Lucas model is a really cool model. It's a smaller body guitar, but it's much deeper. So you get some of that low end that you lack from some small body guitars. What we have on this particular Nick Lucas Elite model is an Adirondack spruce top underneath a beautiful honey burst sunburst finish. We have abalone purfling around the entire top, fire stripe pick guard, rosewood bridge with a long through bone saddle, the sound hole is bound in a cream binding to match the rosette and the binding around the entire outside, top and back. The back and sides have an extremely well-figured piece of koa. We have a mahogany neck with a rosewood fingerboard, an inch and 11 sixteenths bone nut, Gibson style headstock with a Gibson script inlaid, the fleur-de-lis inlaid, mother of pearl, and an elite truss rod cover, gold Waverly open gear tuners, and an all-around killer guitar to play. The neck profile is kind of a flatter C, and it being a smaller body guitar paired with this neck profile makes it very, very comfortable to play. And the Koa kind of offers a really nice warmth, especially paired with the deeper body. So, without further ado, I'm going to give the Gibson Nick Lucas Elite a play so you can hear what it sounds like. Don't forget to sign up for the Acoustic Letter today. It's the quickest way to get pricing and photos on all of these instruments, and it will ensure that you never miss a review. Just for signing up today, I'm going to send you my personal gear list for free, because as a guitar reviewer, people always ask me what I play. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this guitar, go to AcousticLetter.com, where you can also see hundreds of other guitar reviews that I've done. Thanks a lot for checking it out.